What's up everybody? Tommy Bauer here, the CEO and founder of the Headline Music mobile app. Today is the fourth and final episode of our Friday feature series uh, for the month of January. We're really excited with the way this is going. We've got a lot of positive feedback, a lot of people interested in doing interviews. If you are one of those people, we're going to be taking applications for the month of February, so just send us a DM and we'll get back to you. Today we have Jay Cabrera. He's actually our first male guest and he's coming all the way from Toronto, Canada. We're excited to hear his story, some of the songs he has coming out. So without further ado, Jay Cabrera. Okay, it's episode four. I'm here with Jay Cabrera coming out of Toronto, Canada. What's going on? How's the weather? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, it's cold right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just temp? It just got cold. <laughs> uh, uh, it's in the low 20s today. Uh, it's about to get even colder because we got some bomb discussions to talk about. It's coming, man. The snow is coming this weekend, so it's going to be crazy. Oh, man. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So I wanted to ask you a couple questions. Um, I've been following you for a little bit on uh, Instagram, so I kind of know your sound and everything, and I wanted to uh, give you this opportunity to speak your mind. And uh, So the first question is just going to be, you're from Toronto, Canada, well, originally from New York, and that's where you've made a number of your songs and whatnot. So I want to know, um, what's the music scene like in Canada compared to the U.S.? Uh, definitely uh, feels like there's more opportunity for the uh, for the independent artists here. Um, just from what I've experienced, they're definitely more open to new music. Uh, they're open to listening to you know to indie artists, given given us a platform uh, here to do our thing. Um, my single show out uh, that's on Spotify, um, 2017. It was actually nominated for a Toronto Independent Music Award. How about that, huh? Didn't win, but hey, I was just like, oh snap, okay, that's <laughs> pretty cool, man. And um, no, it's honestly there's there's a there's a cool music scene up here. Definitely eclectic, all different styles, man. From you know pop, R and B, country, you know it's it's I want to say like free range where it's it's an open book. You know, people are definitely open to listening to new music for sure. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Um, and because when I think of Canada, I mean maybe I'm just thinking Montreal, but I. Is there are there a lot of French Canadians in um, Toronto or not so much? Not so much. That's more of a Quebec thing. Is that I've, Quebec? Yeah, to, to, uh, Toronto. So Ontario is more of a uh, melting pot. Okay. Uh, definitely super multicultural. Um, and it's it's funny. So I, when I first moved up here, um, you know, people I would meet were like, you know, how do you how do you compare Toronto to New York? And I go, well, to be honest, it's. Toronto is a is like a mix of New York City and Chicago, okay. but on, on a smaller scale, you know. Um, but uh, but uh, it's a cool vibe, you know. People are nice, um, super clean up here. They're they're super eco conscious, which is great, especially with this you know the whole climate change mm -hmm. issue going around right now um you know canada is is pretty eco-friendly so it's awesome so you still got that busy lifestyle but at the same time no traffic <laughs> yeah yeah well well for me it's not a lot of traffic but for, <laughs> for torontonians they're like oh man traffic's so bad i'm like what are you talking about like uh, new york traffic is bad oh this yeah it's fine <laughs> uh-huh that's what happens when you put a lot of people in a small area <laughs> um so on your Instagram, you have the uh, number one song a day, um, and I wanted to talk about that. So yeah, tell me exactly what that is, and for those of people who are watching right now, what is that, and what was that process like doing that? Yeah, so in um, so 2017, uh, I decided on New Year's Day that you know I was gonna post a song a day just me singing whether it was a cover or original um do one song a day for the whole year i figure you know how, how hard could that be I just <laughs> you know sing a song a day for a year right i mean like you <laughs> sing songs every day in the car when you're driving like all right shouldn't be too bad um but i also looked at it as a way to just bring maybe some more exposure and just i was just curious to see what would happen right Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, okay, I need to figure out like a cool hashtag, right? What what could I what could I use? So I actually searched for 
hashtag one song a day for 2017 and there was nothing so i was like "Ooh, all right i'm gonna use that so that's how that hashtag was born and uh, i did a song a day right for the whole year um plus a few depending <laughs> on what was going on that year um i know there was like the like the vegas shooting and then the the, the shootings in in florida um you had um you had you know, uh, chris cornell's death and winchester bennington's like things that happened tom petty like there were these certain events that happened throughout the year where then i on those particular days either the song of that day was a song from that artist or i did like a, an extra song to commemorate that artist um you know throughout the year and then um what i also did to incorporate into the one song of days every wednesday uh i did what i called hashtag indie wednesday um hashtag original song so i would fit at least once a week one of my own songs into into that project it's crazy man <laughs> that's uh and it was wild because i towards the end like after the first month i was like i said oh crap man this i'm gonna have to do this every every day this is gonna be crazy right but uh, but as it went along like it just it was just fun to do um and it, it was it was cool to see as each month progressed like um just you know more followers would kind of catch on and then you know they'd send me messages like oh that's so cool what you're doing just the support was awesome but also for me just the love of music and you know i looked at it as a way for if you were following me and um were enjoying what you were seeing it was like all right 60 seconds out of your day that's not a lot of time but you're taking time out of your day to actually watch this clip i'm putting up for a minute it was awesome like super grateful that people even wanted to follow each day and then i'd get messages of hey what song what's what are you doing today you know (laughs) Uh, and so that that first month and then i was like you know what how can i make it even more interesting so you know february became you know love songs you know march i think i did like 80s and april i did 90s 90s music um and then some weeks i would do like boy band week or like you know uk artists or you know r&b groups whatever so just to try and mix it up a little bit right um i remember september i did all songs that had september in in the title you know Mm -hmm. Um, but um but yeah by the time the year ended to be honest like i was burnt (laughs) because it was every night two to three hours just to you know get it right because sometimes people would ask like do you do you know what song you're gonna sing each day and i'm like no like i i wanted to kind of do it on the fly and make it spontaneous and kind of just what i was feeling that day or maybe it was something i heard while i was driving and like oh you know maybe i'll do that song tonight you know just to kind of keep it where not so planned out but to keep it as kind of natural and organic as as i possibly could um and then you know just um you know warming up doing a couple of you know singing it a couple of times just to make sure you know it felt right and some nights i do like three songs just because the one i decided to do i was like ah i don't like that one tonight do another eh. and then but it, it was a lot of fun to do um and um if you guys are on instagram you know check it out the um, hashtag one song a day for 2017 you can have have, have, a, have a go at it yeah that's crazy because uh when i figured out what exactly was going on with that oh that i was like man this takes some serious dedication you know i mean you're literally doing one song a day and you i don't did you didn't miss any days did you no yeah so if you think about that that's literally one song a day for 365 days and you have to well one cool thing about it too is that like you said you when a current event happened um you were able to use that as a way to um you know add just that extra little clip in there or uh, try to grab somebody's attention in that regard um, because the the topic was current and uh, you wanted to strike while the iron was hot, you know? It's like, no, it's, it's a mental thing that you, you did there, which was good. And I'm sure that that helped you gain some followers and stuff because people... Uh, for sure. You know? No, it was, it was, it was very cool. Uh, very cool to see, you know, again, super grateful for everybody that, you know, started to follow and, and just kept following through the whole year. Um, there was a cool thing that actually happened there's a 
company called um, Vocal Ease. They do like a, like a, a throat spray for um, for vocalists and musicians, and they do. Uh, I think the brand's called Musician Wellness, where they do like supplements and vitamins and and throat drops and stuff like that. So um, so they actually had reached out and wanted me wanted me to be an artist ambassador for them, which I still am, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it's just again, it's just a cool kind of byproduct of what I was doing. Right. Um... Yeah, no, definitely. That's uh, I'm glad that you did that. I'm uh, glad I actually stumbled upon that because I I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so now when you are just listening to music in your free time, what kind of music do you prefer? What do you like to listen to when you're j- or do you have a different music for different events? It it depends depends on my mood, but um, but I will. I've, I'm finding lately I'm. I'm playing a lot of like '90s music again. <laughs> Throwbacks. <laughs> Throwbacks. Um, but I, honestly, I, I'll put my, um, you know, I'll put my music on shuffle, just, and whatever pops on, yeah, you know, because sometimes like, you know, the moods can change, and and I'm, I'm pretty open to to different styles of music. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, you know, music is universal, and you know, if it sounds good, it sounds good, man. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, so for me, I, I always like to, um, even if I make a playlist, like I always like put on shuffle. Like sometimes, like I'll play the order through and be like, eh, all right, I'll just hit shuffle and see, you know, <laughs> well, what's what's the next song gonna be, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, but I try and, and and keep it diverse as much as possible. Good. Uh, um, I'm, I'm for me, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm a sucker for pop music for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yep, makes and, sense. Nineties and, and and good old nineties uh, hip hop. So, yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with some 90s hip hop. Wow, oh, man. Tribe Called Quest, Biggie, Jay Z, Tupac, you know. Yeah, I heard some uh, I heard some Biggie at work the other day. I posted a Snapchat of it. Uh, some of the contractors at my work were uh, listening to Biggie. I came in the, the mechanical room and I'm like, oh, man, what do we got going on here, boys? <laughs> and it was just like, uh, it was some Biggie uh, song I'd never heard before, but I got to look it up. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I just can't think of it. Um, so that leads me. Nah, he's getting into the Hall, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. Oh yeah, I'm trying to think of how old he'd be about about now. He was uh, would he, would he, 24 when he. So he'd yeah, be upper 40s up. probably then. Oh, he would. Yeah, sure. he'd probably because uh, that he, was what 90. When did that happen? 95. Was he older than Dr. Dre? Because I think. No, no, no. Dre was Dre was older than. Okay, he so he'd be in his 40s so, then. I think he'd be in I would his say upper 40s. Like late, uh, late 40s maybe that's what I'm thinking yeah Um, okay so then I guess I wanted to ask you a question about the music industry and just what do you think um, for you personally is something that's challenging about getting your music heard what do you think is is difficult when it comes to uh, getting it out there and getting people to actually uh, listen to it Um, I, I mean Getting people to listen to it, <laughs> getting people to 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 be open to new music, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, obviously, with like mainstream radio, it's you know a grouping of songs that just is played every hour. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's keeping you know trying to reach those that have uh, as open a mind to music as yourself uh, that you know, are willing to, all right, I'll, I'll listen for a minute and, or even 30 seconds. If it catches my attention, okay, I'll keep listening. If it's uh-huh. a good song. If it's a good song, it's a good song, you know, but at the same time, you know, everybody's got a different ear. So, right. you know, you're never going to get that hundred percent, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, even if you like, sometimes I look at it in terms of sports. So like with baseball, you know, if you're batting 300, that's good. 30%. Hey, so yeah. like, Thirty percent of people are listening to my stuff. That's awesome, man. You well, that's I mean? so that's that's yeah. what um, that's what happened with me when I listened to that song. Uh, like uh, like well, I like never I had. Know. Like yeah. we had talked about before. Um, that song was on your Instagram, and that's how I found that actually. And it was only in about I don't even think it, it was like a little over a minute long or something that you had posted. It wasn't too long, and um, so I listened to it, and I'm like, oh yeah. I was like, I can see myself. Uh, listening to this at the gym, and yeah. uh, and so that, but that, 
uh, music, the style that you had in that song was something that I hadn't really... It doesn't sound like a lot of other things that I've heard. Not just from you, but from uh, in the pop category. It was like... I don't know how to explain it. It was like synthy, but it was like a... It was like... It was hard to explain, but I was feeling it. <laughs> Thank you. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's definitely... Um... I would say it's like a almost like a pop electro R&B hybrid ish type of a track because the way the way we did the music um, and then also having having a bit of a rap part in there exactly. as well. Exactly. Yeah, that was the um, kicker too. Like you, you, you kind of it's it's kind of nowadays how even like pop music is is a mix of different really different genres are all like now categorized as pop. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's taking, you know, some of those elements and sort of challenging yourself as a, as an artist and a creator to, you know, what can you do that might be different and catch people's attentions versus, or right, what's everybody else doing? We gotta do that. Like, nah, we, you always want to try and, and, and do something a little left of center. Right. That you think, all right, maybe this might catch some people's attention. If it does, then awesome. Yeah, you don't want to be a copycat. I, I've started. I've noticed that uh, more and more is even when it comes to just not even the music. It's like even when it comes to dressing like somebody, you could have you know like thirty people that look like Tyga or something like that, you know, and they all they all sound the same. They all look the same, and there's no yeah. there's no differentiator that's going to make that hard. person stand out. It's hard. It's it's hard to to make sure that every time you're trying to create something that you are trying to differentiate yourself from what's out there because you know in a lot of instances in your mind you're thinking all right well if i do something different and you know who's going to want to listen to that because everybody's listening to this and like, everything you hear is this and it's like well maybe i should do that but then <laughs> just get lost in the shuffle and it's like no it's you know, stay true to you. Keep keep like pushing yourself and challenging yourself to do different things. Yeah. Uh, and and you know the the fans and the, and the people that are gonna want to support your music, they'll they'll come. They'll come to you. Well, that was well said because the thing is that nobody knows what somebody else likes until they let them know what it is that they like. You know, so you you being yourself is the best way to go around it because there's so many people that might like you for you you know i think we're uh we're just starting to become too um too similar to everybody and we just need to go back to where everybody was their own individual you you didn't care what people thought you know you had your own sound and your people liked you for for the sound that you made you know well and and in that respect you know like i said before not everybody's gonna like my music and that's fine because it, it, nothing is ever a hundred percent. You know right. what I mean? And like I said, the law of averages, like, you know, if I'm batting for 300, <laughs> Hey, that's awesome, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was actually just going to refer back to that <laughs> because yeah. that was a good analogy. Just cause I mean, if you think about it, like it all right, sense. 30%, so three out of every 10 people that listen to my song, if they like it, awesome. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, I appreciate it. Good. Um, well, the, what I wanted to end on was just, um, do you have any news for your followers, or your fans, anything for um, the 2020 season that you're rolling out? Or what do you want people to know um, in the upcoming months? Uh, well, I mean, I've, I've definitely been getting asked, even in 2018 and 2019, you know, are you going to keep doing that one song a day thing, right? Like 2018, I was pretty burnt at the beginning of the year. <laughs> so, so I think I did maybe, you know, three or four months <clears throat> of those types of one-a-days. Um, that year, last year was kind of like, I just kind of took a break from posting, you know, posted a few stories here and there just to kind of get the creative juices back in rhythm. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, by 2020, there's, there's some new material that we're going to be working on, um, new songs, uh, that we're going to put out. Um, if you go on my Instagram, I just posted a, a new track called Dollars featuring a super cool rapper named Sin the Saint. Okay. So check that out. Um, that's what I was going to ask. Are you going to have any other features? Uh, yeah, so this one that's, that I just posted the other day, it's called Dollars. Um, check it out. I posted the whole song on my IGTV. Um, but uh, stay tuned. It'll, it'll be on the streaming platforms within the next few weeks. 
All right. Uh, but I figure, you know what? Here's here you get get to listen to the whole song on on Instagram, and then uh, you know leave some comments. Tell me if you like it or not. Um, a lot of times I'll use it as a as a way to gauge uh, the temperature temperature read on, <laughs> on a song, right? Okay. Because you know if if you get some good feedback, then okay. You know, uh, when this this could be a contender for for getting a release out onto. You'll entertain it. Ones. Yeah, because I mean, if you it's it's always good to kind of experiment and, and and just test it out and see what kind All of right. feedback you're getting. You know, a lot a more yeses than noes. Again, if it's like fifty percent yes, fifty percent no. Hey, fifty percent is fifty percent. So that's right. You know, that's still better than zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think you're at zero, so I think you're, I you're doing all right. You're on the climb. You're on the up and up. Um, I appreciate but I appreciate you coming on the show, Jay, and uh, I just want to say thanks. And uh, it's been great oh, to talk you. to you, hear a little bit about the background, what you got coming on. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what 2020 uh, brings, and uh, we'll keep an eye out. For sure, guys. Go on the Headline Music app, pop category. Look for show out click the hearts <laughs> <laughs> all right jay i'll catch you later all right thanks man thanks appreciate, appreciate it time. we'll see it